can't talk about photography without talking about light. You know, uh, as a matter of fact, that's that's what um, that's what photography is. It's uh, I guess it's the Latin for writing with light. You know, uh, or drawing with light. And anytime you take a picture, your subject is either emitting light, emitting light, you know, like such as a, a light fixture or the sun or whatever, or it's reflecting light. And that's what your uh, what your lens is looking for. Um, when we used to use film, we had you know, several people who had a lot of practice with film. Basically, all you re really needed was um, you needed a lens, you needed the film, and you needed light. Now, with uh, with the digital, you still need the lens. Instead of film, now you have a sensor. And, and the sensor is what captures the light. And, and But the light is the important portion of it. And I think, is, is everyone familiar with the fact that uh, photographs are made up of tiny little dots that we call pixels? Yes. You know, that's where you, you talk about the megapixels of a camera and all of that good stuff. Well, these tiny little dots, these, these pixels, that depends upon, they all come from which way, what direction light hits your sensor in the camera, which is controlled by the lens. So whenever you're taking a picture, you want to be concerned about, well, where is the light coming from? Is it reflecting off of my subject, or is it emanating from my subject? You know, just like with this, quite naturally, the light was coming from the sun. But it was reflecting off of everything else. So that's when, when, you, want to, um, when you want to compose the shot and you want to uh, get the exposure for it, you want to touch on the screen where you want uh, the focus and where you want the exposure. So you just touch on your screen when you're composing your shot where you want that to be. Am I confusing anybody with that? No, I love it. It's fun. That's fundamental concepts and nice. All right, so now, and then each one of these little changes in color and whatnot, those are just little tiny little millions of pixels. And we talk in terms of when you want to go down and edit it, when you want to edit a photograph, now you can, you can take a photo on your, that's on your camera and you can expand it to a wide degree to the point of where you can actually see in some of the editing programs, you can see, okay, on your, on your Camera Plus app, when you open it up, I think you probably get a camera. It's like a replacement camera. That's a very good camera. That, as a matter of fact, when you want to take a picture with your regular iPhone camera, we talked about tapping on the screen. If, when you tap on the screen to set the focus, that's the same portion of the scene that the exposure will be. So that's where the light, that's where the sensor is going to try and read the light also. With this camera plus, you can separate the focus and the exposure. So now, if I was shooting in this direction, and I wanted to expose for Chef Carol, and not get the exposure of all of the light coming from the window, I would expose on Chef Carol, but I could also focus on the window. So now it gives you a lot it. more control than your ordinary uh, onboard camera that they came from. Yeah. So by the time you're taking the picture, yeah. you can pretty much That's edit. totally made it. Made it. So you can pretty much can edit it while you're oh. Oh. Right. Wow. right. So now you're putting the light behind him. No All right. That, <laughs> that's that portion of the camera. Don't look at us. Okay. <laughs> now, if you look at the uh, bottom left-hand corner, you see, if you try to, well, oh, now if you didn't want to take that out, mm -hmm. just, just go that back arrow. There you go, and it comes back. Okay. okay. Now, if you, if everybody has the magic wand and you try that. If you took anything out that you didn't want to take out, yeah, touch the back arrow and it'll bring it back in.
Michelle, I'm here with Mr. David Royale, who just taught a phenomenal iPhoneography class. Um, David, tell me a little bit about the class and how you came to the idea of iPhoneography. Well, the you mean how did I come to the idea about the iPhoneography class or iPhoneography in general? Let's do both. How did you come? Let's start with the iPhoneography in general. Well. That kind of stemmed from the idea back in the uh, in the 90s I started carrying a camera around as a means of keeping a journal. Instead of handwriting a diary or whatever, I decided, well, I'll just take pictures of some of the interesting areas that I've been. So everywhere I went, I always had a, a camera in my pocket, a small pocket camera. As the smartphones developed, it became a whole lot easier just to carry the smartphone, which incorporated so many other devices, which included, you know, a very nice camera. So from there, iPhoneography. So it was just a means, basically a means of keeping a journal. And how long have you been using your iPhone as your journal? Uh, ever since the iPhone, uh, basically ever since the iPhone came out. Um, you know, I first, uh, I, you know, first started using it. I got rid of my other camera uh -huh. and only carry the iPhone. Great. And that's the only that's the only camera that I have now. Tell me a little bit about the class itself. I learned so much from it. How did you um, idealize what your curriculum was going to be and how you were going to put that into action? Well, as you probably noticed, um, I didn't have much of a curriculum. <sighs> uh, I wanted to go by what the uh, the people in the class wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, it was open ended. And I and I we went around initially and and asked what everyone was interested in. So I tried to hit on each one of the topics that were hot buttons for the participants in the class. So I've heard that you've got a book coming out. Tell me a little bit about that. Sometime just before Christmas, this book uh, should be should be available. Right now, it's um, it's in the final edits, okay. and it's the uh, the name of the book is Capture, Edit, Share. Great. And I'm still looking for a subtitle to the book. But uh, I should have that within the next. Matter of fact, from my notes from the class, I'll probably come up with the subtitle for the book. Great. And um, it should be uh, available just before Christmas. And uh, it's three sections to the book, mm -hmm. which you can probably guess what the three sections are: capture, edit, and share. <laughs> and uh, basically, it's uh, you know it's all about the phonography. I, I'm trying not to limit it specifically to the iPhone. Mm -hmm. However, I do have to speak uh, a lot, uh, particularly to the iPhone, because that's the only smartphone that I'm familiar with. Right. So when is this going to be available, and where can I get it? It should be available sometime around about the 20th of December. Great. And um, basically, if you go to david-royal, that's R-O-Y-A-L-L dot com, mm -hmm. I'll probably advertise it right there on my blog. You know, that's the only place that I can tell you that it would be. You know. All right, go to David Royale Double L at the end dot com to get that book. I know I will. Well, I'm well, so pleased to have come here today Michelle? and to have met David yeah, and to have learned so can, many, many things about my my iPhone, which is my personal phone the camera, the, uh, and the, I am the, so odd that I can do so many more things oh, and yeah. make my pictures far more beautiful. So it's been, it's been a great day for me. Hey Caitlin, Gosh. at the iPhonography class today, just tell me one cool thing that you learned that you didn't know before. Um, I learned how to use Photo Wizard because um, I tried using it before but it didn't work out well. <laughs> and um, the tutorial online didn't really help that well. Okay. And now I know how to do some things that I didn't know you could do on the app. So I thought there were two cool things I saw you do. So that blended one, like when you combine two photos, do you feel like you might use that one again? That feature? Yes. All right, maybe not using your sister's face <laughs> in the soup bowl, but some other more honorable use, maybe? Yes? Uh -huh. Using it? Okay, good. All right, thanks so much for coming today. So, Melissa, what is the one thing that you learned from today's class that you think you'll utilize the most? Well, I think that the class went beyond editing and into um, showing me how to basically create another stream of revenue through offering more products for my clients. 